And that caught on and has been brought forward to the situation we're in right now. And thank you, Pope, for asking for forgiveness. It's about time. Actually, it's perfect time because we can now afford to forgive them because there's a larger understanding of what has been going on over all this period. <clears throat> there is no fault here. There is a process. You know, Hitler, right here, was just doing his job. Bushies, the Bushies right now, Bush and Rumsfeld, Ashcroft, all those guys, they're doing a great job. They really are. Anybody want their job? Go, guys. They are tearing down everything that the power structure stands for in record time. <laughs> Go, guys. <laughs> we got to get this stuff out of the way. And they're doing a wonderful job of it. Intuition. Um, you know, we pay athletes a lot of money, don't we? To play silly games. Don't we? I mean, it's almost ludicrous, almost crazy how much we pay. Millions of dollars a year to go out and play a game? Are we nuts? Maybe not. Because, you see, these athletes, when they're out there under very stressful conditions, I mean, playing for a national championship with, with all kinds of money and your next year's uh, career on the line, plus endorsements and all that, and under tremendous stress, instead of going into the fight-or-flight syndrome, which would have them kicked off the court or off the team, instead of doing that, these guys routinely go into the zone. And they make the spectacular play. Under tremendous stress, with everything happening all at once, they just go step back, see and know everything about the moment. Have you read any of those interviews with the, the quarterbacks or the hockey players who see the play in slow motion? Have you heard about that? That's how they stay in the game, by being in the zone, riding their intuition. There is no time to think about it. If you think about it, you've lost. When a quarterback starts thinking about the game, he's second string, third string, and out there making commercials. Being in the zone, being in their intuition, is why we pay them the money. Because they're doing something that we know is vitally important. Something that we admire. We admire it. That's why we pay for it. Those clothes that you're wearing, I'll bet at some time or another, you bought them. And the reason that you paid anything for it is because you admired that apparel. And the more you admire something, the more it's worth to you and the more you'll pay. And that's really the basis of all exchange. is how much it is admired. You can even admire how much you hate something or how much distaste you have for it, or how ugly something is. You can admire how ugly something is, can't you? 
God, that's ugly. <clears throat> it's an amount of admiration. In fact, it's what beings exchange. Beings exchange admiration rather than money or thoughts or communication. They really exchange admiration between one another. You want to know where economy is moving to? It's moving away from money, isn't it? is moving into the exchange of admiration rather than physical goods. <clears throat> but this intuition, being in the zone, is very, very important. And since we're all going to be going out of our minds, oh, you'll still have one. No, it's sort of like you, you, you still have... Uh, uh, we still have bodies, you know, we're using those as a vehicle, you know. You'll still have a mind, and you can still add two and two and that kind of thing. But when it comes down to dealing with changes and the amount of rapid change that's coming, this is the only thing that will work. You will not have time to think it through. You will only have time to take the action. And when you're thinking, when you're using the mind, what's also in there is all the fears, doubts, worry, okay? Big clue, how do you know it's your intuition and not your mind? Your intuition is always, no matter what the circumstance, and that, the, you guys that were in the accidents, remember? Uh, when you were engaged in your intuition, there was no fear. There was a calm certainty, a knowing of what to do. There was no time to worry about whether you were doing this right or wrong. It was direct action. Your intuition, no matter what or how dire the circumstances, your intuition will always be calm and knowing. Your mind, on the other hand, will throw in the kitchen sink. Um, I'm, I've talked to some people who um, shared experiences with these accidents and whatnot. They made it through the experience and other passengers in the car or, or companions didn't survive the situation. And these people knew exactly why they didn't survive, and the, the passengers didn't survive, and they did. It was because they personally stayed right there in the moment while the passenger was going, Aah! no, I'm denying this is happening at all. They were in their mind. The survivor was in their intuition. That's how important this is. Nine eleven is a big topic. Nine eleven, who survived, who didn't? The people who followed their intuition and went fishing that morning instead of to work survived. The people who got down out of the building when the first plane hit, and even including in the second tower, the people who got out of the building, followed their intuition, took a break, went home, they survived. The people who got out of the buildings then heard the all clear and their boss reminding them that they had customers on the west coast that they should be selling stuff to, and then got back in the elevators and went back up into the buildings didn't survive. What was the difference? The guys that went back up in the building had a reason. They had reason for going back in the building. I got to make my mortgage payment. You know, the kids got to go to summer school. 
They had reasons. I would get fired if I didn't go back. They had reasons, and they were in their mind rather than following their intuition. Just some examples. But this is going to become more and more critical as we go forward from here. 